Okay, welcome back. Um, I'm now answering question part E from the June 2018 Edexcel um, C4 GCE paper. This is question number seven, part E. I already answered question seven, part A to D, and you'll find um, the link on the top here, taking you to that particular video. Now, here we're told that the point Q lies on the line L2, Given that the line segment AP is perpendicular to the line segment B, BQ, find the coordinates of the point Q. So we already told in the earlier part of the question that you have a line 1, okay, and you have a line 2 which is parallel to line 1. So I'll just draw them like this. So I'll say that's line 1 and that's line 2. So I'll call this line 1 up here, and this is line 2. And we're already told in the earlier parts of the question that you have points A and B on line 1, and you have a point P on line Q. Okay, we already found, we already know those details, and we know the vector from O to B and A to P, and um, you know we know the vector from O to P. We know the equation of line two. We know the equation of line one. That, all of that, that is known in earlier parts of the question. I've written some of those things down that we might need here. Now it says that um, the point Q lies on line two, so the point Q lies somewhere on line two. Given that this line segment AP is perpendicular to BQ, so let's just draw AP here. So BQ is perpendicular to, a, uh, to AP. So that means if I draw a line that's perpendicular to this line, okay, then Q is on line two. Okay, it says Q is on line two. So Q must be here such that the line joining AP and BQ are perpendicular. Okay, we need to find the coordinates of the point Q. I need to find the coordinates of the point Q. So basically I need to find the position vector of Q. All right, so I'm just going to put O somewhere, just random, okay, and that's, let's say that's O, the origin. I need to find the vector from O to Q. That's what I need to find. If I find the vector from O to Q, I've got the position vector of Q, and I can fill in this, um, you know. So that's what I need to find. So now, what do I know about the point Q? Well, I know it lies on line two, so it satisfies this equation. So one of the things I can say is that this equation, which is 918, 918 plus lambda times 4 minus 6, 2, is equal to the vector x, y, q. x, y, z, sorry. O to q. All right, so there will be some somewhere along the line L, which will take me to the point q. And I need to find the value of lambda for which that's true, and then I will be able to find what that point is. So now I need some more information as well. I, I can't just deal with this because I have unknowns. Basically, I'll have three equations. I'll have 9 plus 4 lambda is equal to x, and I'll have 1 minus 6 lambda is equal to y, and I'll have 8 plus 2 lambda is equal to z. Now that's not enough information yet for me to find the answer to the question. I need something else. And the other thing is the fact that uh, B, Q, and A, P are per perpendicular. So I know that the, the vector from A to P is perpendicular to the vector B to Q. Right? I already know what A to P is. Okay? I need to find what B to Q is. So if I can find what B to Q is, now B to Q, if you think about B to Q, it's like if I join this to this, we can maybe picture it a bit better. B to Q is like going from B to O and then from O to Q. So it's like it's like saying OQ minus OB. It's like OQ minus OB. Okay, if I want to go from B to Q, I've got to go from B to O, which is opposite of OB, plus OQ. So it's minus OB plus OQ or OQ minus OB. And we already know what OQ is. No, sorry. OQ is XYZ. Uh, we have to find it basically. I know what O to B is. Okay, the position vector of B is one one four. That's what was given. We found that earlier in the question. So then I can say that this vector B to Q is equal to x minus one, and y minus one, and z minus four. All right. So now, as they're perpendicular, that means their dot product is equal to zero. So I know the dot product of AP. 
and BQ is zero. So if I take a, AP, which is 12 minus 6, 6, so if I take 12 minus 6, 6, the dot product with the vector we just worked out now, x minus 1, y minus 1, and z minus 4, x minus 1, y minus 1, z minus 4, that has to be zero because AP is perpendicular to BQ. And this is AP and this is BQ. So if they're perpendicular, the dot product is zero. So from this, we can form an equation. We can have 12 times x minus 1 minus 6 times y minus 1 plus 6 times z minus 4, there's a 4 here, is equal to 0. And now I can com combine these three equations with this equation. I can replace the x with 9 plus 4 lambda. So I can say this is going to be 12. And instead of x, I'll have 9 plus 4 lambda. So I'll have 9 minus 1, which is 8 plus 4 lambda, minus 6 times. I have y minus 1. So if I put instead of y, 1 minus 6 lambda, the 1s will cancel. I'll be left with minus 6 lambda. And I have plus 6 times. Instead of z, I can replace the z with 8 plus 2 lambda. So the 8 minus 4 will give me 4. So I'll be left with 4 plus 2 lambda. And that's equal to 0. So that should help me find the value of lambda. And once I've got the value of lambda, I can find the value of x, y, z. So let's just do that. I've got 12 times 8, which is 96, plus 48 lambda, plus 36 lambda. And um, I'm going to have plus 24 plus 12 lambda equals 0. OK, so I'll end up here with... 96 plus 24 and 48 plus 12 plus that's 48 plus 48 that's 9 I'll have 96 lambda plus I'll have 96 plus 24 that's going to be um, 100 and is that 120 96 plus 24 90 plus 20 is going to be 110 plus yeah 120 Okay, so I'll end up with 96 plus 120 equals 0. So 96 lambda equals minus 120. So lambda is equal to minus 120 over 96, uh, which gives you, let's just put in a calculator, gives you one, nine, 120 divided by 96. Gives you my 5 over 4. This is be minus 5 over 4. So lambda is equal to negative 5 over 4. Now, that is what I need to put into this equation now to find what x, y, and z is. So I know that the vector from O to Q is going to be given by basically 9, 1, 8. And I'll have plus, and it's going to be minus 5 over 4 times the vector. Uh, 4 minus 6, 2. So that plus and minus will give you a minus. So it's just going to be minus 5 over 4. Okay, so this is going to take me to the Q, the point Q. All right, so that's going to give me 9 minus 5 over 4 times 4. The 4s cancel, so 9 minus 4 is, 9 minus 5 is 4. Then I have 1 minus, or 1 plus. 5 over 4, so I have 1 um, plus 5 over 2 times 3. So that's going to give me, um, that's going to be 5 over 2 times 3. So that's going to be 1 plus 7.5, which is 8.5. Okay, and then I'll have 8 minus 5 over 4 times 2, which is 5 over 2. So 8 minus 2.5. 8 minus 2.5, which is 5.5. .5. Okay, so there's the answer to that question. There's the vector O to Q, and they ask us to find the coordinates of Q. Okay, so the coordinates of Q, therefore, we should write it in coordinate form. It's going to be 4, 8.5, and 5.5. .5. And there we have the coordinates of the point Q and the answer to this question. Okay, now other questions you might want to find. Well, I'm going to put a link up here also um, at the top here to the other parts of this question, which um, are parts A to D. 
And then I'll have a link here for other questions from this paper of Edexcel June 2018 C4. I'll also have um, a link here to topics on this uh, on vectors and also somewhere to subscribe to the channel. Um, thank you for watching and um, I hope to see you soon.